What is up guys? Sorry I haven't made a video for you guys. It's been a little bit crazy. I tried to make a couple of videos over the weekend and I ended up nearly, th th well I did throw my phone on the floor actually. But basically what happened was I was trying to do these vlogs and it just wasn't working out. So essentially I was uh, getting a little frustrated because the phone wouldn't accept the external microphone and I know how poor the quality of the sound is without it. So anyway guys, we're heading out right now. We're doing a vlog. I'll see you in a few. And we're back guys. So I am just heading out, going downtown. I thought I'd just do a quick vlog. I was trying to do one at the weekend, but as I said, it was a disaster. I thought in today's vlog, we could talk about why I gave up Facebook and all that shit. God, it's freezing in here. Oh man. We're gonna probably see some nut jobs on the roads today. That is just normal practice. But basically guys, yeah, I wanted to chat to you. You know, I gave up Facebook a while ago, actually. I gave it up a year ago and basically what happened was it was more than a year ago actually because it was before covid god that year just feels like it was yeah a dream but essentially what happened was i said you know what i'm gonna get off facebook instagram all these different things and i'm just gonna do it for a month and i'm gonna see what happens and i did it and i just enjoyed everything so much more that I decided to stick with it. And ever since then, I never put notifications on because notifications, they just drive you to go and spend time on there. And literally, I regard like Facebook, Instagram, and all those things, they're just a black hole. Like you're, you're just wasting time on there and you're, you're in a state of trance. And the funny thing is, the, the shit about like Facebook, which nobody's talking about, is it should really have disclaimers on there or warnings on there that say it's incredibly addictive. Because I don't know if you know this, but whether you realize it or not, or admit it to yourself or not, when you're on Facebook, the type of dopamine spikes that are happening in here are the same type of dopamine spikes that you're getting if you did cocaine. So you may not be aware, but there's all these highs and lows in your head that are happening and it's not good. It's over stimulation of your dopamine. And it basically leads people to getting anxiety, people getting depression. Fuck, I can't see a thing through these glasses. Jesus Christ, why are they so dirty? I see a thing, the light's gonna change in a minute. What has happened? Oh shit, we're gonna get beat. <laughs> but yeah guys, it's like, it's so true that these things are causing all these spikes in your head and it's just, it's not good for your health. Like, I would seriously just now think about how much time you spend on Facebook, Instagram. Like I was saying to friends and family about it and I was saying basically, you know, I was a social media addict. Like. Lots of people are social media addicts. You cannot not be a social media addict unless you go on there purposefully. It's interesting, guys, because like Facebook has been around for a long time. I actually created my account when I was way young. I was like, God, I think I was 13. I was one of the first. It was 2008, I think, my account was created. So. God, I gotta do the maths now. I think I was 14 or 15 at that time. I would've been 14 or 15. But it's just crazy how much it's evolved since then. Like Facebook, when it started, it was a thing that was gonna connect you with your friends and everything like that. Well, we all know like the social media was around when I was at school and I was starting to see how fucked up it was gonna be for younger people growing up because social media is literally ruining our society and I call it anti-social media like you've got YouTube which is an amazing tool like I use it all the time I 
and and then you've got like other things like TV was once the anti-social media of the time but now they've created something even more which is like this black hole of your time and you just got to be conscious of it and I would urge you to do a 30 day challenge where you just delete all your social media apps and you just go off of it and see what a difference it makes because it seriously does make a difference and especially Facebook is all algorithm based and you just are not gonna beat the algorithms. The algorithms are designed to get you to look at Facebook. There's a great Netflix documentary called The Social Experiment, which I watched last year, which was, you know, basically just telling us what we already know but failed to accept, that they're just screwing with our heads. And it's all for advertising and monetary purposes and there's, it's not for the greater good, right? So you have to be mindful of that. I'd say like we have a huge problem right now with younger kids and everything like that where they're just staring at their phone. It's not just younger kids, it's their parents, it's everybody, right? Who's just staring at their phone. Like I kind of, when I go into a waiting room, I make a point to not check my phone. Like, you know how easy it is where you go somewhere and let's say you have, you know, five minutes where you're just gonna have to sit there. People just cannot do it. It's no wonder people are getting ADHD. It's because they're constantly overstimulating the brain like all the time. And then when they don't have that stimulation, they start acting out and it's just, it's crazy guys what's happening now with the social media in the world moving on to other things i am driving this car which is the durango it's a v8 and uh yeah i had to get a v8 in my coming from england i knew i was never going to get one there like the price this car would have bankrupted me in england uh literally does like 15 to the gallon and it's just but it has got the beans we we let's uh let's see if we can get some exhaust noise here on the highway we've got the open highway put it in manual mode and i'm going to drop it now here we go god that sounds so good it's just you know the v8 motor you cannot you cannot underestimate the power of the v8 but yeah, we're heading downtown. You know, downtown these days is just a ghost town. Um, but you go anywhere else and it's really busy. I don't quite understand that, but yeah, it's just the way it's been going now. Where am I going? You, you know, this is a problem with vlogging and driving. It's really hard to con. I was just in a trance. I was just gonna head out skiing, I think. Maybe I should, I got the skis in the back. <laughs> but yeah, this is like the new ring road. I gotta be careful coming around here because the cops are always trying to get people, the sneaky bastards. To be honest, I've had enough of tickets because when we went out to Drumheller to film that video and everything, that $285 ticket was painful enough, thank you very much. Just passing the Grey Eagle casino like if you ever look at a map of Calgary and think Calgary looks kind of weird shape compared to Edmonton it's because of the there's a reservation on the west side of Calgary so they can only build so far out to the west so they're kind of stopped and yeah it's just interesting really because it's took so long for them to build this ring road because the ring road goes across the reserve the reserve is great in my opinion because there's a gas station on that reserve and the gas prices are like 10, 20% off the, the price you would normally pay. So that's good. And there's always people trying to sell you like really cheap cigarettes, like really cheap cigarettes. Like I'm talking like 20 bucks for 200. And I was, but they're in like a, plastic cellophane bag and I don't smoke anyways but yeah today this week is going to be real good because it's going to be warm we we're getting the Chinook the Chinook arch is behind at the moment and uh fuck. Ahead. oh shit I don't know where I'm going here I'm off here man I 
nearly missed my turn in again. I've seriously got fucking. So yeah, we're just turning onto Crowchild Trail. This this road, Crowchild Trail, is an absolute nightmare. There's always accidents on this road. Um, a lot of the roads in Calgary seem like they were designed by a three-year-old kid. And <laughs> and when I say that, you just look at them on a map, and they're just like lines, circles, circles, like and it's just like. I don't know, it just looked like somebody spilled the ink on a map and the the roads and exits just go all over the place. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Hopefully gonna do another one before this weekend. We got a super intensive psychological training course over the weekend, so I'm not gonna be able to do a video, um, but I'll have a video out for you guys next week. So anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace and love. Bye.